Hello, my name is Tim Laverick. Some of you might have seen me before. On the last program, we showed you how to kill to cut up a pig. This time, we're going to show you how to cut up a lamb. So, first off, we're going to cut the legs off. So there we have a pair of legs. Then we're going to cut the front end off. Here is where we count six ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we cut it off at the sixth rib. So there we now have our three primal joints. Leg, loin, shoulders. We're going to deal with the legs first. So now we need to split these legs. From this point now, we can take a little bit more of the bone out and we can make some lamb steaks or we can use this for a roasting joint. So we have the fillet end and we have the shank end. And if you want to a shank of lamb, we would cut through the bone there, cut that bone off there and that will become your shank of lamb. Those are the two most expensive pieces of the lamb. So these for mainly for the roasting joints or the steaks. Let's deal with the loin now. This is where we this is either the loin of lamb or the saddle of lamb. Two kidneys in here, which we're gonna just take out. We're just gonna split this down the middle. So we have the spinal cord, which we want rid of. We'll take the flaps off, flaps or belly. Which we will either use for a bit of mince lamb, a bit of dice lamb. We'll take the bones out and make some lamb burgers or some lamb cofters. Now we have the line of lamb, which we can just cut to make lamb chops. So that's dealt with my loin and my legs. Now we have move on to the shoulder. <coughs> Number of things that we can do with this shoulder. We're going to split it down the middle eventually. We're going to take the neck off first. Neck alarm. We can either make that into some little neck alarm rings for slow roasting or a bit of soup. Or we can take it off the bone and we use it for a little bit of dice slam or into the burgers or the mince slam. Shoulder in half. So we're going to take off a traditional round shoulder of lamb. I'm always trying to cut so I keep tight to the bone. I want to take all the meat, as much meat as I can, off the bone. And there we have a knuckle side of shoulder of lamb and a blade side. Right, so here we have it. We've cut our lamb up. We've bone and rolled one of the legs. So there's no bone in that. Mainly for the pub industry, so that's nice to go on a carving, it's easy for them to carve. The other leg I've cut into half. So we've got a shank end and a fillet end. Here is where we can do some lamb steaks. That's for a nice roasting joint. We've cut some of the loin up off the chops to make our lamb chops. A couple of kidneys as we're working along the most expensive stuff, and then we get more to the cheaper end, the front end. So then we've cut one of the shoulders in half to make a blade side and a knuckle side. This one we were, we were going to bone and roll. And then we have more our manufacturing stuff here, which we will either use for mince, dice lamb, burgers, and with the neck of lamb, either the same or to make a, a lamb stew or a lamb hot pot. So there is what it, from a lamb that weighed £54.